stranded lady and her son, they said no one ever goes to their community. We are changing the whole plans for the whole day. Before we got on the boat, Celia said, God's going to do something different today. It is the highest civilization on earth. People literally lined up for over nine hours. We're in a different village today. We had several foot injuries, including a young woman that was attacked uh, by a leopard or jaguar. We actually came to the largest of the floating islands. Looking for polar bears, seeing the northern lights, walking half a mile out on a frozen Arctic ocean. In the middle of these mountains in northern Thailand, just astonished. I saw the first miracle on this outreach through the salvation of that man, and he went with us house to house, actually witnessing. So this is uh, zone zero, right in the middle of where the lava river flowed down. The lava was about 1,400 degrees. So they're evacuating us. We just have to evacuate as soon as possible. We just saw a flock of zebras. He's about to get some. You ain't gonna live long, son, I tell you. Don't fall, he's an idiot and he's gonna die. This is the greatest day in the world! <laughs> I made it, okay? I made it. I'm here. I fear bonds, we're fear bonding! <laughs> we are out in the middle of absolute nowhere. Some village, there's about Four or five hundred people, from what I can guess, just standing around. We're getting instructions right now, things how not to cause a riot, and we're not listening. Hey! Hey! Bucks hey. here are horrible. I heard of tigers. <laughs> oh, what is that? Deeper, don't move. Why? Why? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Where is the sky? Where does it end and the snow pile begins? The sounds here are so... <laughs> like you hear a dog and it's like... Arr, arr, arr. You're like, okay, it's a dog and then it's like... Arr. Like that! What is that? <laughs> <laughs> this is what floor flying is about. Conquering fears because Kyle makes you. <laughs> I've been on a boat for over a week. There's signs everywhere that says beware of polar bears. There's mercury everywhere. Pairing that with the fact that there's no laws or police there. Some I mean, of you have been looking for gold for 25 years. You know how to search for it. But some days you search for it and you don't find it. I got a promise for you today. If you seek him, you'll find him. All of them, just tears streaming down their faces. And like, they knew, you know, they needed, they needed something more than what they had. They love the Lord and that's, He's all that they need and they just worship Him wholeheartedly and they pray to Him with everything inside of them. In this little field in their community and to see the tears flow and for them to feel the love of God, that will last longer than the meal will ever last. Can you imagine if the body of Christ would not look at missions trips and say, oh God, just keep us safe. God, speak to me, should I go? Will I be okay? God, protect us. What if we change the conversation to, you know what, God, you called me there, and whatever happens, if I knew I was gonna die there, I'm still going.